Hi, welcome to another video in my series on complex numbers. And in this particular video, what we're going to look at is the modulus argument form of a complex number. Now, suppose I take a complex number z equals x plus iy. We've already seen that the argument of z, or argz for short, is the angle made between the positive real axis and the complex number z. So in this example, it will be this angle theta here. And remember that theta is normally measured in radians, and it is always greater than minus pi radians, but less than or equal to pi radians. So we've got our argument theta. The other thing is that the length of this line here given by the complex number z we know is called the mod the, or modulus of z and I'm going to call it r. So if we just have a look at completing a triangle through here then we've got a right angle triangle something like this and let's say that this distance across here, well that's going to be x, and this vertical distance here is going to be y. So by basic trigonometry, we should know that the cosine, or cos for short, of the angle theta compares the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, x over r in other words. And if we rearrange this to make x the subject, x would equal r cos theta. And if we do a similar thing to get y, we see that sine of the angle theta equals the opposite side, y over the hypotenuse r. So it follows from this statement that y equals r sine theta. Now, that means that our complex number z can be written as x plus i y. Well, we know that x is r cos theta, and then we've got plus i y, which will be i times r sine theta, i r sine theta. And we can pull out r as a common factor here, and so we get that z equals r, and then we've got bracket cos theta plus i sine theta. And it's this format here that is often referred to as the modulus argument form. Now, this is going to work wherever z is, whatever quadrant z is in, okay, as long as we remember to make sure that theta lies in this particular range. Now, let's just try a few examples so I can show you how this is going to work. We've got here, express the following in mod arg form got four examples here. I'm going to show you how to do number one here th to express the complex number 3 minus 2i and I'll leave you to have a go at 2, 3 and 4. All right? And then we'll work through the work solutions. You might even want to have a go at this one now. Okay, Just pause the video and come back when ready. Okay, well let's just see if you did have a go at this how you got on. So, let's just say that z equals that. Let's say let z okay, equal 3 minus 2i. So, the first thing I would want to do is draw a sketch for this uh, complex number on an argon diagram. So, we've got our real axis here and we've got our imaginary axis up here. So, for z being 3 minus 2i, that's going to be a complex number where we go 3 units that way, 2 units down. So it's going to be something, say, like that. OK, so that's z. We know that if we were to complete this triangle in here, this would be 3 units and this would be 2 units down. So I'm going to get the arg of z first of all. So I'd need to work on this angle here. So I know that theta is equal to the inverse tan of 2 over 3, opposite over adjacent. We're working in radians, so make sure your calculator is in radians. And if you do the inverse tan of that, 
you'll find you get 0.588 and so on radians. So when it comes to working out the arg of z, then we know that the arg of z has to be a negative turn. It's got to be within this range. So it's going to be minus 0.588 and so on radians. Now that we've got that, we need to find out what r is, the modulus of z. So I can say that r is equal to the mod of z and to work that out it's going to be equal to the square root then of 3 squared plus 2 squared using Pythagoras' theorem. So 3 squared plus 2 squared. And if you work that one out you get square root of 9 plus 4 square root of 13. So when it comes to writing z in mod arg form, z is going to equal r, which we know is root 13. And then we've got the cosine of the angle, the arg of z, which is going to be minus 0.588 and so on. I'm going to round this to two decimal places though. So I'm going to put minus 0.59 radians and then plus i sine and then again we've got the same angle minus 0 0.59 okay and that's given to two decimal places okay so it's that kind of thing then that you've got to do when you're trying to do the mod arg form now i've got these other questions for you to look at. Find the mod arg of minus 3 plus 4i, minus 3 minus 4i, and this one here, 2i. Very easy one, but it's worth having a go at that one. So just pause the video if you'd like to have a go at those. Come back and I'll run through the solutions. Okay, welcome back. If you had a go, let's see how you got on. So starting with number two then, if we were to say let z1 equal minus 3 plus 4i, let's sketch it on an argon diagram. We're going to have something looking like this. We'll have our real axis here and our imaginary axis and so therefore z1 is going to be something like this. Just mark that on Z1 because if we complete the triangle in here we've got three units this way and four units up. We need to find out what the modulus is so let's get that first of all. We'll say R equals the modulus of minus 3 plus 4i. Well, this is a well-known one because using Pythagoras' theorem it's based on the 3, 4, 5 triangle. It's going to be the root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is going to give you the root of 25, which is clearly 5. When it comes to working out what the arg of Z1 is, that's this angle round here, arg of Z1, we first of all need to find this angle in here, theta. And we can do that then by saying that the inverse tan, theta equals the inverse tan of the opposite side over the adjacent, 4 over 3. So make sure you're in radians mode for that. If you do that you end up with 0 0.927 and so on, radians. But to get the arg of z1, we need to do pi radians minus this angle. So therefore, arg of z1 equals pi minus 0 0.927 and so on. Work that out in your calculator and you end up with 2.214 and so on, radians. And that means that therefore we're in a position now to write down Z1 in mod arg form. It'll be R first of all, which we now know is 5. And then we've got the cosine of the arg of Z1. I'll write this now to 
two decimal places so we've got 2.21 and then plus I sine of the arg and that will be 2.21 okay so that's given to two decimal places we'll just put 2dp there okay so that's that one let's have a look now at the next question number three in this one minus three minus four we can put it on the same diagram here it's basically going to be the same as this one only we've got z2 if we call it z2 it's going to be down here and if we complete the triangle let's just go back there that's obviously going to still be four units let's just say let z2 equal minus 3 then minus 4i so we know the modulus of it it's going to be 5 when it comes to working out the arg of z2 we've got to turn in this direction here because it's got to be in the range minus for between minus pi radians and pi radians so that's arg of z2 so to get arg of z2 we know this angle it's the same as theta up here we just worked it out so we know then that the arg of z2 has just got to be the negative of this value so knowing the mod then and the arg we can go straight for z2 in modulus argument form so therefore z2 is going to be 5 and then we've got the cosine of minus 2.21 plus I sine of minus 2.21 okay so that's three now for number four let's say let Z equal 2i and if we drew a diagram for this an argon diagram we've got our real axis then our imaginary axis and if we put 2i on it's going to look something like this up there okay that will be our complex number z equaling 2i so this will be two units up there we know the mod it's going to be 2 we know the arg this angle in here it's going to be in radians the equivalent to 90 degrees pi upon 2 radian so therefore z when written in mod arg form is going to be 2 and then you've just got the cosine of pi upon 2 radians plus i sine pi upon 2 radians nice and simple okay so i hope that's given you some idea then how to go about doing the mod arg form for a complex number.